Hi, this is teacher Andrea. Today I'm going to talk about pronunciation of can and can't. One of my most common questions I get from pronunciation students is, how can I hear the difference between can and can't when Americans often don't pronounce the T sound? And that's a stop T. So when we make a stop T, we don't say a T sound, there is no T sound, and the word is a little bit short. This usually happens when we have a T at the end of a word, and it happens when the sound before the final T is a vowel. So for example, the word cat, I don't say cat, I say cat. No T, word is short. Other examples, get, sit, lot, put. We also do a stop T when the sound before the final T is a voiced consonant. So looking at this first word, part, we have an R before the T. The sound is er. I use my voice to make er. And because that sound is voiced, the T is going to be stop T, part. Same thing for the next word. We have an L before the T. And that sound ol is voiced. And I say melt. Same thing for NT. N, N is voiced, so I will say sent. This happens for contractions. Isn't, don't, won't, can't. But wait a minute. Can't has a stop T. So how do we hear the difference between can and can't? How do we say the difference between can and can't? The answer is in the word stress. So in English, we make different words louder and longer in a sentence. Usually the main verb of a sentence is stressed. So let's look at this sentence. I can go. Go is the main verb. So I'm going to make that louder and longer. I will say, I can go. And can is not stressed. It's going to be a little short. I can, I can go, I can go. But if we have a negative in the sentence, that negative word will be stressed. So if I cannot go, I'm going to stress can't. Go is not stressed. So I will say, I can't go. Listen to the difference. Hey, can you go to the party? Yes, I can go. Go is stressed, go is the main verb. Maybe you can't go. Can you go to the party? Oh no, I'm sorry, I can't go. Here that negative can't gets the stress. Go does not have the stress. Listen to the difference again. Yes, I can go. No, I can't go. So knowing that negative word gets some stress means that can't will get stressed in a sentence. That's going to help you hear the difference and it will help you to speak the difference as well. If you'd like to book a lesson with me, you can visit my profile at verbling.com slash teachers slash Andrea. I hope you have a great day.